In this last tutorial on understanding the WordPress loops and basic queries, we're going to be using um, get posts. Now we've used three different methods. We've used WP query, we've used query posts, and the last one here is get post. Now, of course, the best place to learn it is the WordPress codex. So if you go there, it's important to read this. And um, you should also read when you're looking at this that it says that this is really not the best way to retrieve information. In fact, it suggests that you use WP Query more. This is really good for um, being able to get an array of posts based on a set of parameters, um, be able to output them in a list, basically. Um, and so you've got some different arguments that are associated with it that you can use, and we're going to use some of the arguments in our code. So the first one is this. Let's get the last four posts, all categories. So we say last post equals this get post function, and we have the argument for post per page four. This um, is going to get just four of the last posts. Then we run a for loop, um, which ends um, at n for each, where we get that post data, and then we show our h3 and content. Um, and then we reset the post data afterwards. So to see how this is actually implemented, here is the last four posts using all the different categories. Because all we're asking for at this point um, in this query is just get all the posts and just post per page um, equals four. Now in the next one, we're actually going to limit it to just the um, ones that we want. Now we're going to say last post gets post, and now because we have more than one argument that we're going to do, we really need to use an array. So I'm going to have an array, post per page equals two, and category is news. Then it runs the for loop and then resets the data. So an example of how this works, here's just the two posts. Now where things get a little bit funky is the last one. If I look at my code here, I've separated it so that, like many of the samples I've showed before, or shown before, I have a um, variable that's being set to this array, and I have post per page equals to and category equals events instead of news. Then I say let's go ahead and create a variable of for get posts, and we put the arguments that we saved as from this array into that get post so that we now have um, two different arguments in there and then we run our for loop and end with for each and then we reset the data now what's funky is that this thing says that it's using events however when I run this it's actually just getting the news items it is not getting the events items and this might be one of those things about get post that uh, maybe I don't understand and if you do please share it in the comments but um, I generally go to WP query instead because I find it a little bit better so just to wrap up of all the different things that we've done we have spent a lot of time looking at different loops the different types of loops there are we've also looked at the different types of queries that includes query post WP query and get post and we have discussed a little bit about resetting the query after each of those um, loops and or, or after each query and, uh, and then we've shown some examples now of course anytime you want to learn more about this stuff go right to the WordPress codex and then look up these terms because that's where you're going to find the real details but I do hope that these tutorials have helped you understand a little bit about how the WordPress loop works and how you can query the database um, for the information that you want so that you can make your own custom loops instead of having to rely upon um, templates and stuff like that, themes that have already been created. It's really fun when you can create your own loops. So enjoy and let me know in the comments whether or not you have any success with this. Thanks.